from Juan. He says, Youth Man, I just received two additional subs, Klipsch R110SWs for a total of four tens. How can I calibrate them properly with REW and no mini DSP? I'm not sure you can. Um, without a mini DSP, that's what's going to be really, really hard. Um, because to me, you would basically make some adjustments on each subwoofer. I mean, you can adjust like, you know, if they have phase, if they have, you know, um, things like that, and just see how it affects your frequency response. But when you get a mini DSP, you're going to be able to do things called time alignment. You're going to be able to apply EQ to each sub individually, and you're going to be able to, you know, adjust those levels. I mean, just there's so many things. Phase. So the mini DSP is going to do so much more than you can ever do, I think, with just, you know, REW. REW, the way I look at it, is a tool that allows you to see what's going on in your room. And then something like the mini DSP, um, that's going to allow you to make corrections to what R.A.W. is measuring, if that makes sense. So, yeah. So, what do you, what do you, what do you guys think? Mini DSP. I just got a new U mic one, right? They're out of U mic twos. Mm -hmm. uh, my old one was broken because I used it so much. So, yeah, the U mic one uh, for what eighty something bucks, mm -hmm. totally worth it. With R.A.W., it'll allow you. It'll tell you what your system is doing, right? Right. But. Unless you're using a computer and you're playing on computer speakers, you can use an app to apply your EQ. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, it's just to tell you what's going on, right? right? I mean, you can make some adjustments on your subs with, uh, if you have a phase knob, you can do stuff like that. But to really tune it, to really get the most out of what it's telling you, you have to be able to do the correction. And so the correction is applied on the mini DSP itself. Mm -hmm. And so once you put the settings into that, you don't have to have anything else connected, like all the audio that goes in, it yeah. comes out with those settings applied. And so if you have four 10 inch Klipsch subs and you want to maybe use that to, let's say you have four subs, so that means you have extra overhead because the more subs you add, the more gain you get, right? So each additional sub, more and more gain means more overhead. Um, so one of the things I would probably want to do with that is use the extra overhead to allow them to play lower, right? Because mm -hmm. any any sub, any speaker can play 11 hertz, right? It's just the question is at what volume. Mm -hmm. So you can get a bunch of speakers that don't hit very low by themselves, but you get enough of them and you can make it hit low, right? You get enough of them, you can... So, so you're going to need oh, a mini DSP to, to extend the bass response lower, right? Your Odyssey is not going to do that. Right, they won't. Dirac's not going to do that. None of them really extend the bass response. Um, it's going to require mini DSP because because it's a liability too, right? You can also extend it out super far, and uh, that's going to be up to you. You're going to have to be able to see here, like, okay, they're distorting. That's too much. Tur you know, turn it back down. So you're going to need DSP. Chana, what say you? I agree. <laughs> Now, I mean, I, I don't, I don't, um, I have REW, I have a microphone, but I don't have a uh, mini DSP. So, I mean, apart from, you know, you could measure and then you can move physically move your subwoofers around the room and say, okay, I measured it with two in the front. Then I measured one in the center and one in the back center, one in the front right corner, one in the left corner. And then you can just look at them and go, okay, I can physically see where they perform the best but again you just can't apply any kind of time alignment you can't apply any eq to it so you're limited in what you can actually do just with rew it's a great tool to tell you what's going on in your room but that two by four hd um to me it was a game changer i mean it like legit and i don't say i don't like to just throw that out there but man for my room it's got some acoustical stinking issues if you've seen a lot of my videos even um, when I reviewed the SR8015, it's like I'm hesitant to show you guys my room response because it's garbage without the mini DSP. You know, I've just got some some really, I don't know if like the seating distance is in the wrong place. Like I'm sitting in some knolls. Um, you know, that definitely could be it. Just the, the shape of the room, my cabinet could be affecting that. There's a lot of different, you know, things that could be causing that but the mini dsp is able to go hey wait i see this 
based on the measurements that Root REW gave me, and here's my solution to it. And and uh, it does a lot of that automatically, so it's pretty pretty sweet. Here here's a follow up for okay eighty nine bucks for the mic, mm-hmm. uh, REW is free, yeah. uh, mini DSP two by four, right? So that'll allow you to calibrate four subs. Correct. Because any of these AVRs, they only do two max, Correct. right? So independently do four uh, subs for 300 bucks or approximately, right? Yeah. And of course the time and sure. to invest into getting to know how to use this stuff. Yeah. What else can you spend 300 bucks on for your audio system that would be better? Yeah. Cables. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's, that's honestly that's a really really good point and especially if you put a decent amount of money into i mean if you got a home theater in a box you don't need a mini dsp but if you've got a decent setup i mean we're not talking like super super high end but you just have a decent setup you got some nice subwoofers if you want to get the very best sound out of that i think you know a mini dsp is a fantastic way and a lot of guys ask you know can i go ahead and skimp out and and get the cheaper two by four instead of the hd the answer is yes you can um, my understanding the HD has higher resolution but the bigger thing to me is it has um, more time alignment as far as like the distance that it will time align and so if you I think it's like 7 milliseconds if you need to, if your subwoofers need to have more than 7 milliseconds of time alignment let's say you need 8 or 9 or 10 that mini DSP is pointless in your setup, you know. So I always recommend go with the HD, get the the higher uh, resolution and that additional amount of time alignment. And uh, so Randall and, said, uh, room acoustics, right, is yep. one of the options. And you know what? I think that's the popular popular thing to say, mm-hmm. right? Treat your room first. Yep. And my room's treated though. That's the funny thing. I'm just wondering, like. I'm on, I'm wondering if that's actually the first place that I would go if I had the option. If I were to say like room acoustics or 100%. DSP, I'm yeah. not even sure that I would go acoustics first just because uh, you there's, gotta know where have to put to, them. Well, you'd have to you know have to know where to put them, but also you have to spend a ton of money in order to let's say fix some bass response issues, mm-hmm. right? You gotta get those huge bass traps. We're not talking about just like some basic yeah. panels. You have to do some serious stuff in order to fix acoustic problems, especially with bass. Right. Um, uh, and yet, a DSP can fix those issues in your listening position. Yeah. Well, some of those issues, right? A lot yeah. of them. Cross appreciate that um, the additional information. He said it's 5 versus 10 PEQ. So you get more EQ settings to be able to change that curve and flatten out your response more. And then 7 milliseconds is the max delay on the standard version. So appreciate that. <laughs> 